Hey everyone, it's Ken again. It's Wednesday morning, and that means it's time to start another art project. This week we're working on a series of works that use a geometric shape as a starting point. And a series of works is two or more pieces, um, so that you can kind of explore them in a little bit more depth. They aren't going to be as finished as some of the other work that we've done, perhaps, because we're really just sort of exploring the possibilities of what we can create starting with a geometric shape. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of what people have done in the past. This is the first example um, provided by me, um, and this is a series of cylinders I wanted to create. Um, cylindrical shapes, um, but this to me just felt really flat. Again, just kind of a, a, a initial sketch to get some ideas down. Um, I ended up moving into using a compass and seeing how I could, you know, you know use concentric circles to create some sort of uh, shape. Um, and this one, I, again, really wasn't what I was looking for. As I started looking and uh, playing around with it, I found something that worked better for me. This one definitely has that cylindrical feel. I erased some lines to kind of give it a little bit of a sheen and make it look even more round. And finally, the last one I got to, I really liked because it presented itself um, as sort of this wavy, you know, the lines go up and then they go down and up and down. And it has this um, dual nature to it. Um, you can see the little tiny pinprick holes that are used when I was making um, this piece. Um, it, those were where I set the compass each time. Um, I wish I could kind of remove those from the piece. Um, but either way, this piece I actually did really big on a wall um, in a gallery using chalk and a large ruler with a point on one end and a piece of chalk on the other um, to create an extra large compass. Um, and it turned out fantastic. It was blue and orange chalk on a black wall. I really liked the way it looked it really big. Um, and so that was kind of just pushing it even further. A couple pieces here by Sarah Morrison, a former student. And I really like how she first um, d defined the area where the piece is by just putting that simple black border around it. I mean, these are things that you could probably pick up in a, in a little art store um, for not too much, but it's they're so well done um, and very finely crafted. The one on the left is an example of another way to use circles, um, very different than how I approached it. The one on the right has this series of triangles, and I really like how the triangles look like they're either going in or coming out depending on how you're looking at them. It kind of fools the eyes. But just this clusters of triangles have something going there, like stars or galaxies or something like that to me. Really well done. A couple more, more simple pieces here. Eric Morales' work definitely plays upon a geometric starting point. Um, squares, circles, rectangles, a little bit of three-dimensionality going in here. Um, and maybe a little bit of story on that one on the right. I'm not quite sure where he's going with that. Um, but there's this kind of legs in the head, maybe, and some arms, abstracted human figure, perhaps, um, which is totally possible as well. Aaliyah Hill has three designs here, um, and these look like there's a hint of sort of a Native American patterns going on here. The one on the right is, looks more like something that we might have found in geometry class in junior high or high school. Um, and But again, very simple yet very effective ways of using geometric things as a starting point. Um, her use of color, I think, is especially effective in the pieces on the left. Photography is totally welcome in this if you want to try and find some geometric elements around you. These two pictures are from Old Town in Eureka. Raymond DeSoto has the first one here on the left has a tree and a telephone booth. And we might not think of those as geometric shapes outright from the very beginning, but I think again it's a very good use of that cylindrical, that circle piece, and then the telephone booth is your rectangles or squares. Also the fact that they're both in the same photograph together balances them out. It doesn't you know have one emphasis on one geometric shape or another. The one on the right has lots of triangles but still elements of circles and squares. Um, and I like the perspective that he's got going in this one on the right. Further down, Chi Lee only submitted one drawing, but it's, it has so much geometric things going on in there that um, I accepted this as a full, full credit. Um, I do hope that people will be pushing themselves to create a couple different pieces, um, but this one just had so much time put into and effort put into the creation of this scene that I felt that it was really special. 
Julia Long, um, again, approaches it from a different way. She's kind of got this scribble pattern going with her colored pencils, a really good use of color here. The color is pretty dramatic, has um, some shading here and there that lets things sort of pop out or recede back. And uh, the one on the left, I think, is particularly effective um, with its sort of border lines that it's got. And then that circle with the really dark outline um, up on the upper left of it helps it to kind of pop out of there like we're looking through that um, into something going on in the background. And then finally, Veronica created a mandala. And this is all done by hand, which I think is um, really, uh, that's really, a, a, I can admire that um, because this is something that would take quite a bit of time to do by hand. I think it would even take longer, though, if you were going to try to use compasses and things like that. It's a very regular pattern that repeats itself. There's these little details like the dots going down from the triangles into the middle that sort of lead your eyes into this middle area here. Um, so again, when you're creating your pieces, remember that you know there's all this diversity of places to go. Mine were um, a somewhat simple, although it did take some time to put these together and try and figure out what I was doing with these circles. Other people made theirs a little bit more complex and more like a finished drawing. I hope you have fun exploring what what you can do with geometric figures. Remember that they can be loose or tight. Everyone has their own style. Mine were done using a tool. Other people's were done more freehand, and that's okay too. But either way, make it look good and have fun exploring.